Before installation of any accessories, park the bike on a flat level surface and remove the key. To install the tank bag kit on your FTR 1200, follow these steps. Begin by removing the two fasteners securing the rear passenger handles on each side of the bike. Remove the handles and set aside. Next, remove the seat fastener from each side of the motorcycle frame. Pull the seat back and lift up to remove from the motorcycle. Next, loosen the four bezel fasteners from the tank bezel. Set the tank bezel aside on a soft surface. Use care to avoid misplacing the compression limiters. Then, pivot the center console and pull forward to remove from the tank cover. Next, remove the two tank cover fasteners from the rear of the tank covers. Move to the tank covers and pull outward at the bottom of the cover to disengage the rubber grommets. Then lift the cover up from the alignment tabs on top and remove from the vehicle. Next, remove the two seat mount fasteners. Place the rear mounting tab over the mounting location with the loop facing down. Reinstall the seat mount fasteners and torque the specification while holding the mounting tabs in place. Okay, Next, remove the two alignment bracket fasteners and two washers. Place the front mounting tabs over the mounting location with the loops facing down. Reinstall the bracket fasteners with washers and torque the specification. Next, spray soapy water on the tank cover mounting grommets to prevent the grommet from being pushed through the metal bracket. Continue by installing the tank covers on their alignment brackets, ensuring they are fully seated. Then, firmly push the lower tank cover into the grommets, ensuring both tank cover rivets are fully seated and the grommet has not been pushed through the bracket. Reinstall the two tank cover fasteners and torque the specification. Continue by reinstalling the center console trim into the bottom bracket and pivoting down to engage the four hook and loop pads. Reinstall the tank bezel, compression limiters, and bezel fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Before installing the seat, ensure the lower bag strap is flipped up over the tank trim. Next, identify the two tabs on the underside of the seat. Slide the seat onto the support bracket and into the front mounting brackets, ensuring the two tabs slide beneath the support bracket. Secure the rear of the seat with the two retained seat fasteners and torque to specification. Finish by reinstalling each passenger handle with the two retained handle fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Next, place the tank bag on top of the tank. Attach the rear bag hook to the rear mounting tab. Then attach both front mounting hooks to the front tabs. Adjust the straps to ensure the hooks are fully engaged and the straps are taut. The tank bag is designed to protect your belongings in all weather situations. 
For the best water resistance, ensure the roll top is rolled at least three times and the rolled fabric is facing upward to prevent the water from pooling on the fabric and leaking into the dry compartment. To install the aviator seat on your FTR-1200, follow these steps. Begin by removing the two fasteners securing the rear passenger handles on each side of the bike. Remove the handles and set aside. Then remove the two seat fasteners behind the handles on each side of the motorcycle frame. Then, slide the seat back and up to remove the seat from the motorcycle. Next, identify the two tabs on the underside of the seat. Slide the seat onto the support bracket and into the front mounting bracket, ensuring the two tabs slide beneath the support bracket. Reinstall the two seat fasteners and torque the specification. Continue by reinstalling each passenger handle and two handle fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. To install the luggage rack on your FTR-1200, follow these steps. Begin by removing the two passenger handle fasteners on each side of the seat and remove the handles. If needed, install the two plugs into the open ends of the luggage rack. Align the four luggage rack mounts with the passenger handle mounts and install the fasteners and washers on one side. Do not torque at this time. Then install the fasteners and washers on the other side of the rack and torque the specification. The luggage rack has a maximum load weight of 9 pounds or 4 kilograms. Avoid exceeding the recommended weight capacity to prevent uneven load distribution. To install the messenger bag and bracket on your FTR-1200, follow these steps. Begin by removing the two passenger handle fasteners on the left side of the seat and remove the handle. Continue by removing the rearmost subframe fastener and discard. Before proceeding, the accessory mounting kit will need to be installed. Ensure the correct orientation of the mounting bracket. The longer end of the bracket should face rearward. Install the bracket with the two provided fasteners and torque the specification. Then reinstall the passenger handle with two fasteners and torque the specification. Next, firmly push the round plug into the side bag mount. Align the side bag mount with the accessory mount. Loosely install with two top mounting fasteners, lock washers, and nuts. Do not torque at this time. 
Then, loosely install the side bag mount to the subframe with the provided fastener and lock washer. Do not torque at this time. Continue by loosely installing the side bag mount to the back side of the passenger foot peg with the two provided fasteners. Next, torque the subframe fastener to specification. Then torque the top mounting bracket fasteners to specification. And finally, torque the foot peg fasteners to specification. Next, open the strap on the back of the bag. Slide the strap over the lower bag mounts and re-secure to the bag. Then wrap the straps over the top of the rack and buckle. Pull the straps taut and ensure the bag is secure. The messenger bag is designed to protect your belongings in all weather situations. For the best water resistance, ensure the roll top is rolled at least three times and the rolled fabric is facing upward to prevent the water pooling on the fabric and leaking into the dry compartment. To install the windshield and mount on your FTR-1200, follow these steps. If applicable, remove the four headlight cowl fasteners and remove the cowl. Next, remove the two fasteners from the top of the headlight bracket. Then remove the two lower headlight fasteners at the base of the headlight bracket. Turning the handlebars from lock to lock will help improve access to the lower fasteners. Next, tilt the assembly forward to gain access to the connectors behind it. First, lightly push the tab on the electronic throttle connector and slide it off the push pin clip. Disconnecting this connector is not necessary. Then disconnect the headlight from the chassis harness. The headlight connector will remain installed onto the push pin clip. Before proceeding, ensure the face of the headlight assembly is protected with a cloth or other soft surface before placing face down. Next, loosely install the left and right hand mounts on the back of the headlight bracket with the four included fasteners and washers. Slide the windscreen mount assembly over the headlight brackets and place one spacer between the windscreen bracket and headlight bracket in each top mounting hole. Then loosely install the brackets onto the windscreen mounts with the included bracket fasteners. Do not torque at this time. Continue by torquing the bracket mounting fasteners to specification. Next, reconnect the headlight connector to the chassis harness connector. Then reinstall the electronic throttle connection onto the push pin clip on the back of the headlight mount. Reinstall the headlight assembly and align the mounting holes, ensuring the brake and clutch cables are routed behind the middle of the headlight. Then reinstall the two lower fasteners while turning the handlebars as needed to improve access. Next, install the two provided upper fasteners and torque all headlight fasteners to specification. Then torque the bracket fasteners to specification. If applicable, reinstall the headlight cowl and four fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. 
to install the windshield and wind deflector. Next, remove the four mounting fasteners and caps from the windshield bracket. Then align the wind deflector with the arms of the windshield mounts and loosely install with the four fasteners and caps. Finish by torquing the windshield fasteners to specification. To install the phone mount on your FTR-1200, follow these steps. Begin by loosening the jam nut on the mirror stock. Then, spin the mirror stud counterclockwise to remove from the perch. On the phone mount, turn the dial on the sock arm counterclockwise to separate the X-grip cradle. Then, remove the four tips from the X-grip cradle legs. Apply a thin layer of the glue provided to each leg and reapply the rubber tips. Always make sure to follow all warnings on the adhesive package. Next, stretch the tether over the ball end. Then, reconnect the sock arm to the cradle and turn the dial clockwise to re-secure. Pass the mirror assembly through the phone mount bracket and install on the mirror perch. Do not reinstall the spacer from the mirror assembly. The phone mount bracket takes the place of the spacer. Then, torque the mirror jam nut to specification while holding the mirror in place. Before continuing, ensure the mirror is tightened securely. To install your mobile device, widen the X-grip to fit your device. Then stretch each corner of the tether over the corners of the device. Allow adhesives to dry for at least 24 hours before riding with a mobile device secured to the mount. For more information, see your authorized Indian Motorcycle dealer or visit IndianMotorcycle.com. <laughs>